that argument of hi-fi is too expensive has been completely thrown out of the window in the last five years. There was a point in time where if you wanted to get into the audiophilia of the hobby, of the music hobby, uh, that you would have to most probably sell a kidney or sell a few properties before you could really enjoy hi-fi music. Now, uh, today that has completely changed because I've heard some earphones that completely hit the ball out of the park when it comes to their price range. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, earphones in particular, I've recently tested a whole series of IEMs from the guys at Headphone Zone, and all of these earphones cost uh, anywhere between 2,500 to 4,000 rupees worth uh, per pair. Now, no doubt, uh, if you do want to unlock the full potential, you have to spend another anywhere between three to say five or six thousand to get a decent enough dongle DAC. So, for about five or six to let's say round it off at eight thousand. You can get a proper setup that you can connect to your phone. And today, the fact that you've got high-res streaming from Apple Music in this country, uh, you've got access to Hi-Fi. And, and something like this just wasn't possible five or eight years ago. So for you to get into the hobby, uh, you can get a terrific set of uh, IEMs. In fact, one of my favorites went for, I think, 1800 or around 2200 from Headphone Zone. And then if you pair that, uh, even with uh, a 3000 rupee Astel & Kern Bluetooth DAC amp, it sounds absolutely terrific, but uh, I'd say you are better off with a uh, dongle DAC and some dongle DACs I think range between four and six thousand. Then a company I hadn't heard of before got in touch with me called Fozzy Audio and they make uh, little amps uh, and by little I mean little, they are no longer as large as they have to be. Uh, there are companies like Fozzy Audio, Aima and uh, the list goes on. So I have tested the Fozzy Audio TB10 to be specific and uh, a big reason why it is as small as it is is the power brick is on the outside of it. It's not inbuilt into it. So the unit itself doesn't heat up too much uh, and it does have a Texas Instruments chip which uh, a lot of people are raving about and I myself didn't go into this review into that specific review expecting too much from this amplifier because uh, it was small it's it's not uh, uh, too expensive uh, for that matter the minute you say you want hi-fi you normally think you have to spend over three hundred dollars worth this thing was going for about eighty dollars I think with discount it was going for about seventy or seventy one dollars online and what I experienced with it is the first thing I did when I wanted to test it was I hooked it up to my KEF LS50s and uh, these are notorious uh, for being known as not being easy to drive. Uh, a lot of people listen to it on a not so good amp and then they'll say hey it doesn't sound very good. It's usually because it's not being paired with a powerful enough amp uh, which is, which is kind of sad because uh, they are sort of misunderstood to a certain extent the speakers in particular. So I was expecting the TB10D to underperform, but I can happily say that when it comes to listening to the KF LS50s in close range at least, uh, they are no slouch at all because uh, this thing uh, is actually a very powerful amp. It pushes out a good amount of power. Uh, the specifics I am not going to talk about because they're a bit iffy. A few people have very different opinions about it. You can uh, swap out the original power brick for a more powerful power brick if you want. Uh, more power out of it but the problem with that is you can introduce uh, a hissing or a buzzing sound with uh, a different power brick if it's not made very well but the fact that i was able to drive a pair of ls50s for an amp that only cost about 70 to 75 dollars is unbelievable because uh, i can see somebody who wants to get into the hobby and says i've got a budget of about let's say 150 or 250 or 300 dollars worth and your amp is straight away, let's say $75, okay? So that is a good amount of uh, money from your budget. Now, uh, let's say if you're playing it through your phone or you've got an external DAC uh, that you wanna buy new or secondhand, the biggest problem will fall in uh, when it comes to your speakers. The good news is there is a secondhand market that has been growing over the past few years. Now, it might take a little bit of digging. Uh, I'm not too sure where you can get these, but I have spoken to a few people who can point me in the right direction when it comes to picking up secondhand equipment. And it's worthwhile considering secondhand speakers. So let's say you want to pick up a set of speakers that go for 50 or 60,000 rupees. You can pick them up for one third of the price uh, if somebody is flogging them or is moving cities or uh, does just generally wants to upgrade their setup. It is worthwhile considering the secondhand market if you're getting into the hobby. So pairing the Fozzy Audio TB10D with a good set of speakers, it's not going to be a slouch at all because I have also plugged it into uh, a much older set of tower speakers that I have, which are also difficult to drive. And in fact, it drove those tower speakers much easier than it drove the LS50. So it's worthwhile 
doing a little more research when it comes to this hobby because the second hand market i think is going to be it's going to explode soon i think if you're into audio especially it's going to be a lot more uh, enjoyable you'll be able to get your hands on a lot more products uh, which is very good news and that whole notion about hi-fi is too expensive does not exist anymore so if you are thinking about getting into hi-fi uh, it, it is worthwhile considering the hobby because things are not as expensive anymore for sure there are way more companies that are available even on amazon for that matter and uh, getting this stuff has just become so much easier through amazon the guys at headphone zone or even the second hand market so so if you do want to strike up a conversation about any of this in the comments below and uh, you'd like to be pointed in the right direction if i don't know i will find out and uh, point you in the right direction because end of the day all of us just want to be able to enjoy our music and there's nothing like being pointed in a direction with a little bit of help so if you'd like to support the channel i'm sure you know exactly how to uh, i do hope i've uh, made you at least consider uh, moving into hi-fi if you haven't thought of it before because this is something that you can benefit from if you are a music lover and of course if you would like to support the channel i'm sure you know exactly how to but of course thank you for tuning into paul's pov for some sound advice